What? What's up, you guys? I'm here at Team Symmetry. I'm uh, here to do my uh, regional deck Dude, profile. Dude, you actually got good uh, shit today in San Jose. I missed getting my invite. Um, last round was chain burn. I made it to game three, and I just could not draw royal decree. But um, I actually had really good matches today. It is exactly what everyone thought it would be. It was going to be the windups and injectors in the fall. It was there everywhere. And I played a lot of crazy matches today. Hardest match of the entire day, aside from chain burn, was the anti-meta matchup. And it went to game three, and it was amazing what happens in an anti-meta uh, matchup for this deck. So I'm just going to reveal to you guys, I was not running Dark World, I was not running Malevic, I was not running Gravekeeper. I could not enter this event with either of those decks because Malevic is too slow, Gravekeeper I had not practiced with in a very long time, and Dark World just not did not draw it consistent enough. So I'll tell you guys, I did run Rabbit, and um, I am going to run Rabbit for the, probably the rest of this new format because this format sucks. And have fun uh, matches have, with me. We're going to have a, a band list uh, discussion coming up, but we're just going to start with the basics. You know, you got to run three Rabbit. It's broken. It, it's really good. Like, I, you know, you max C, it's like, all right, if I can set up, it's good. You gotta run with three tour guide. I don't want to hear that. You don't have to. Self-explanatory with Sangin. I don't run. Sangin. I don't run tour bus. The reason I don't run tour bus, I personally am not a fan of that card. The reason is, it can be a really bad dead draw, and also, it just it didn't really prove to be that effective. Like I don't really exceed that much with tour guide. Like I noticed in the nine rounds today, I made Zen mains once out of nine rounds, and it really did not make a difference. I ended up getting compulsed, so it was like that was a waste of a exceed. So. I don't run tour bus. I might change it. I'll Dude, test with yeah, it, but I probably won't. Uh, MVP of the deck, not gonna lie, Jerry Guiba. Uh, this card won me most of my games because if I didn't open with Rabbit, I had this, and I had, you know, I was playing the get when I played against Insectors, I had this to run over their, um, you know, their uh, Dragonfly, and I was smart. I didn't set back row because I knew, you know, you're just gonna pop it, and I'm gonna take damage, like whatever. So I just used these. This was definitely the MVP of the deck. It won almost all my matches, um, aside from the Rabbit. It's just really good. And I will probably never run the deck without it. So then you got to run. Uh, we got red guy number one and red guy number two. I got to say these are bunnies. These are bunnies. Yeah. So bunnies and dinos. You know. You know. They're what make your laggy and Dolka, obviously. Uh, then for hand traps, I didn't max out. I just did what I thought was the most efficient. Maxi and Valor. Personally, I like Effect Valor a lot better. I did drop this card a couple times. It only plus me maybe once or twice. I mean, that's still a plus, but it's not as effective as I thought it would be. I did not play against Windup, and I was ready for them. And I mean, you know, next event probably it'll happen, but two and two is good in my opinion. You know, some people do it differently, but you know, like uh, a lot of channels say, you know, whatever you have access to, so they work. The last card was a Gores. Um, I dropped it a couple times, and I. Uh, it did okay. Um, I played against Dark World and he reborn this because I discarded it with dealings and I got over it because he had discarded his um, Silva and um, I chained Shadow Imprisoning Mirror so it wouldn't come out. So then he reborn this, you know, he attacked over, I think it was one of my red guys, and then I reborn um, the Silva, attacked into the thing and lanced it. So uh, it was good. Um, but it's good in general, you know, it's, it's just a really good summon. Spells are pretty self explanatory, you know. Background yeah, removal, they're good. really good. Uh, the way this card was really helpful for me is playing against um, Dark World again. Uh, it was he had skill drain, and you know, Rabbit has a problem with skill drain. It's like you make your big guy, and it's like, then what? You can't really do anything. But I saved it, then activated it when he drew, like in it, during his, uh, his standby into, into his main phase, and the skill drain was gone. And um, I had back row, and I felt unopposed, and I was right. Because at that point, he could do nothing. When he summoned, I had Lagia. Lagia was active again. I still exceeded. Lagia was still active. And it became uh, its effect uh, came back into came back into effect, and uh, it was just really good. So two's good. Uh, I side the third, but yeah, uh, another MVP of the day, definitely Forbidden Lance. This card. In the anti-meta match, which was the hardest match I had all day, um, this card won it for me because I was able to lance, you know, hit the Thunder King, hit the other things that could really cause me problems. Uh, you have to run this card, it's really good. Uh, Smash put in work, obviously, you know, get over those big monsters. I played against heroes, get over the big monsters. Uh, it was really good. And I had it with D5, so it was really good. Uh, staples. Yeah, they're, you, you have to run them. They're all good. They're all really good. Um, Probably favorite of the day were these two. Uh, use it with Guiba, really good, really good just in general. I used it to a Thunder King, attacked with Guiba, got over it, uh, made Lagia. And uh, I, I drew this a lot actually, I drew this a lot and I it was always active for me, so really good card. That traps are pretty simple. Um, you, Solemn Brigade, have to run them, they're good. 
you know, they summon, negate. That could be something you can't stop, negate. Um, another MVP, two fiendish champ. This card um, is like a trap effect bailer. It is just really good. Uh, it's not even so much that it can negate the effect, it's like it can stop it from attacking. So like if, I, if I'm in trouble with a dino and they're about to get over it or something, this wouldn't work because it could stop them. I could summon another dino, go to Lagia. Lagia, would, they didn't have anything to stop Lagia. Attack over them and I feel safe. So Dude, really good card, uh, worth his way to go. And then uh, Staple is good. Uh, one comp, this did really good. Uh, I hit a Zen mains with it. I hit. Um, what else did I hit? Oh, I hit a Shining with it, so it was pretty good. And then it's no longer legal, you guys, but Trap does shoot. This card was iffy today, believe it or not. It, it you know. I flipped it and like most of the time it wasn't that good. I guess in Zectors it was weird because we had gone, I had only activated it in, in game uh, three and I flipped it and he had three centipede and a Sangin and people were like, you know, send back the Sangin and I didn't. I, uh, I sent back the centipede. The reason was I had a setup with Lagia to the point where it didn't matter and you know, it actually helped me win that match but honestly, it, seeing it go really makes me sad because it's one of my favorite cards but I can understand, you know, when you have it, you have it, when you don't, I mean it's a dead draw but but uh, it's just good in general. It's so, busted. So that's a deck, 41 cards. Uh, extra deck, self-explanatory pretty much. Uh, we'll just go through it. All black monsters. These guys are broken. Self-explanatory. Solemn Judgment and Double Negator, really good. Um, this won it for me when I played against Chainburn for round, for, uh, for I didn't win that match, but in winning game two, so that I didn't get 2-0, I didn't get 2-0 at all today. I won game two with uh, Dolka because it made it so that Swiss Scarecrow, anything that would activate, you know, I can negate it. So it was pretty good, plus I had the decrease. I had the lock in, so it was really good. Um, I run one. I don't like two. One, one's fine. Uh, you gotta run these. Uh, I run two just so that I have another one if uh, something happens. This against anti meta. The setup was the ideal setup. It was. I dropped the rabbit, and I went off like literally I flipped the decree I went off and ended the field uh, it was like in two turns I ended it with uh, Lagia Dolka and this and he goes cyber dragon I don't negate he goes attack I flip book of moon MVP flip over the cyber dragon my turn flip out the rabbit again go off with everything and that was it so it was really good best stall card in the game <laughs> another beater it's brilliant. I didn't get to summon it today. I was actually really sad. Um, there were no situations for me to summon it that could help me, but it's really good. I'm not taking it out. It's a really good card. It's an alternate. To it's an alternate. Yeah. Is. No longer legal. Um, Fun. Yeah. Bye. Killed agents. Uh, um, just cause. Just cause. Just cause. And I side cyber dragon. So. If I ran into you know no wind ups, you know to hit the Zen Mighty with the cyber dragon or something like that. So. I'm gonna have to replace it with something else. And then my side deck, I'm gonna change it probably a little bit, but it's pretty standard. Two Sidras, um, Karkari, um, because they were here. Karkaris were here, they're in the top tables. Oh, yeah. They were in the top tables, uh, the band players had to play it. And uh, for, uh, for wind up, obviously, you know. Zen Mighty, Zen Mains, whatever. It's good. Two Crows. Uh, this was really good. Um, in Again, in that Insector match, um, I had this and it worked. Um, hit the Hornet. It worked. Right? Yeah, I was able to hit one Hornet. It was, it was pretty good. Uh, Reaper. Reaper was interesting because I only used it in my hero match and I used it basically, I, it was kind of dead but it was a good stall and I hit into, um, who is it, I discarded his monster reborn which was pretty good, it was pretty critical so uh, it was good. Uh, two D Fissure, um, they're good, I wanted to draw them against Chainburn because they couldn't switch Scarecrow me but it just didn't happen. Um, they're good against just a lot of decks. I Against Dark World, I sided him in, and it was sad because I had to play Dark World, and you know, I 2 0 it, but it was like, I opened really lucky, and I had this in Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, and I made a lag, yeah, so it was like, yeah, it's kind of over, and it was good, it was really good. Uh, the third MST, self explanatory. Um, I'm probably not going to side this anymore. This was completely dead. Um, I sided in against Heroes, I didn't even need it. Um, probably going to take it out. Um, yes. definitely, definitely MVP yes. against Insectors, against. Um, Against dragons, I did lose to dragons. I lost to dragons because um, game three he goes future fusion, dumps the essentials, and I just could not draw rabbit or anything. You know he ended ended with the big guys, and I just had no out. And that photo, that uh, that light pulsar is broken. It's really good. So, but uh, these put in work. Uh, definitely need to be side deck from now on. Um, for chain burn, um, it's the reason why I was able to win game two and not get two out. I played my friend Ryan. You know, shout out to you. We had, you know, we played before, and you know, it went down. Down to uh, you know, am I gonna have it or no? And you know, in game three, I just didn't have it. And I, he told me I would have won had I just had drawn decree and been able to flip it. But uh, 
You know, I'm probably going to slide a third one. We'll get him next time. We'll get Chamber next time. One chain disappearance for uh, tour guides, for dragonflies, insectors, and period. Uh, it was good. It was good. And uh, one bottomless just for random stuff. I actually used Here it a lot, a lot more than I thought. So, yeah, so that's it, you guys. That's the Rescue Rabbit deck. I hope a lot of people don't get mad that I decided to run Rabbit. You know, we are in a very stupid meta right now, I'll be honest with oh you. Oh my god, people want to know. Stupid. People ask me, what are my thoughts of the ban list? I'm going to give you two exact reasons what I think of the ban list. There's both of them. What I think about the ban list is bullshit, it solves no problems. But I can understand to a point of where they had, they, to, hit where they had to hit things the way they did because the meta is different out there. I just wish that maybe this time they could have put into consideration what the meta is out here. But, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I did get a lot of good footage today. Um, I just wanted to upload this. I'll upload this deck profile probably first just for you guys. Um, I did go X3. Um, you know, chain burn is just a hard loss, you know. If I ripped the decree, I would have probably gone X2 and gotten, you know, main vibe. But, you know, we're just going to get him next time. I mean, that's my attitude. You know, I'm not a super competitive player. People tell me to become a lot more competitive. We'll see what happens. You know, the first foremost is the channel. So, so I gotta say, you guys, you know, you know, thumbs up this video. You know, shout out to the Nemo on the record. There you go. And uh, that's it, you guys. So, thumbs us up. You guys got any questions? You know, you know what to do. PM me. Hit me on Skype. Hit me in class. Like, hit me while I'm in class. Everyone knows I'm more <laughs> shit. Yeah. So, that's all I gotta say, you guys. Some of your team symmetry. Thank you for watching.